The Rock says, If you smell what The Rock is cooking. Fame doesn't come with drawbacks. Oh, okay. Fine. That's what Greg's mm-hmm. been saying. Yeah. Good and he for says him. he feels that way because he remembers what life was like before he was famous. He says, quote, I couldn't pay rent. I was struggling to figure out who I was. I was broke as F. <laughs> I try my best to keep all that in the forefront of my mind. I always say I'm a day away from being evicted again, so it keeps me hungry. And uh, sure, he can't just go out in public without, you know, causing a scene. Of course. He's the rock and he's, can't you know, do right. 12 feet tall and right. huge. But he said even that doesn't count as a drawback, a drawback because he said that's what he signed up for. Good. Oh, I'm right. like, man. Okay, now I, yeah. I re-love him. Yeah. That, Here's a man after Greg's own heart. That is awesome. He's so right. That's what Greg's been saying. Right. Fame, it sounds super fun. Oh, no. People want to take my picture. Oh, no. <laughs> you know how bullets come out of cameras? Oh, wait, they don't. People want to cater to me constantly. <laughs> right. And then when I go out to dinner, they don't want to give me a bill. Yeah. Oh, how terrible. Oh, people adore me. Yeah, but people oh. might want to come up and see how much they love you and they oh, love no. your work. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be walking through the airport and people want to say hi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, something fame that is you work. Signed up for. Mm-hmm. Fame is work, Greg. Oh, it is. sounds grueling. Uh, right? Oh, grueling. That's why mm-hmm. only famous people end up in the hospital because only they experience what other normal people can't. And that is exhaustion. They're exhausted. Yeah. To the point where they end up in the hospital from it because it's just exhausting. Right. Reading other people's words. And people tiring. coming up to you all the time and talking about how much they love you <laughs> for work that you're getting paid millions of dollars for. Right. It's exhausting. Right. It's pretty tiring. Living in that mansion with your housekeeper. <gasps> oh, God. So tiring. What if the housekeeper calls out that day? Oh, my God. You're only going to have two other ones that are helping you out? Right. I can't remember what actor I was just watching saying, you know, we spent 16 years on this show. It's a long time to be working at the same job. I'm thinking like, so you're defining most people's lives. Yeah. Although 16 years, it seems like in any job now. What's the average that people keep a job? Like really in any industry. Like I remember like uh, your grandparents would have the same job their whole career. Their entire life. I think those days are gone. People job hop the way that they channel flip in in the car and the radio or the TV or everything else. Yeah. I wonder what the average is. Good question. I'm looking it up right now. Sure, we could find. It says in the U.S. it's only 4.3 yeah. years. Really? What? Yeah. yeah. And that's for different reasons. You find a better job, you get fired, mm-hmm. laid off. Yeah. Move up, get yeah. more money. Because I feel like at this point, if you're at a job for 10 years, that's damn near a lifetime. I know. It it's is. It's always kind of been that way for radio. Radio has always been so fickle. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, it's just one of those uh, occupations where you know, people change Right. Jobs and cities and everything all the time. And it seemed like everything else was super stable, but it's finally everybody else is caught up to what we've been going through. Yeah. yeah. All these years. I always think of it in terms of high school. Like, wow, we've been here for three high schools. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. And high school was an yeah. eternity. Uh-huh. It was an eternity. Yeah. yeah.